I've just completed an insulation project in our dormer roof. There's a cavity between this wall and the ceiling and the roof outside which there was no way into so I've broken a hole in the wall and made this hatch over it. I had to start by making a small hole like this and then enlarging it to make a gap I could actually get through. The cover I've made for the hatch has 50 mils of rigid insulation board on the back to prevent any heat loss through it and also around the edges of the hatchway there's actually some uh, draft strip as well to make sure there's no drafts. Okay it's a bit of a squeeze but let's go inside and see what we can see. When I started it looked like this with no insulation over the lounge ceiling, no insulation up against the bedroom wall and actually a complete gap going right through the house above the lounge ceiling and below the bedroom floor and this is, this is a ventilated space it was allowing uh, a lot of cold air to blow right through the house and chilling the lounge ceiling so this really needed to be dealt with. So the first thing I did was to block up the gaps between the floor and the ceiling again using 50mm insulation board and a kind of grip fill glue around the edge to uh, make sure that there was no draft getting past there. Following that I then put insulation in between the joists and you can see here that there's 200mm deep insulation between every joist to insulate the lounge ceiling and then up against the walls I've used again 50mm insulation panels and round the edge they're sealed with glue to make sure that there's no drafts getting past there either. Finally I am putting some boards down just so that this can be used as a, a storage space as well. We've already found that this has made a big difference to the temperature in the lounge. Um, anyone with a dormer roof I'd strongly recommend doing this if you know that there's no insulation in there. <laughs> 